Don't ignore us. Hungary and Poland erupt at Brussels over immigration row. Leaders of both countries accused the bloc of infringing on their sovereignty as they vowed to present a common front against Brussels. Right-wing governments in both Hungary and Poland have come under fire from EU leaders over their refusal to take in migrants under a quota system, and efforts to tighten state control of courts and media. But Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban hit back at criticism, branding EU migration policy a failure in a joint press conference with Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki on Wednesday. Speaking in Budapest, Mr. Morawiecki said, in terms of migration and quotas that were to be imposed on EU member countries we strongly reject such an approach as it infringes on sovereign decisions of member states. Mr. Orban chimed in to give his view that the EU's migration policy has failed. He added, we want to have a strong say, as these countries, in Central Europe, have a vision about the future of Europe. The press conference served as a warning to Angela Merkel and Emmanuel Macron whose views tend to dominate in European politics, that they will not be able to run the bloc alone. Mr. Orban and Mr. Muraiki said the EU should be doing as much to represent the views of their countries as those of Western European nations. Poland and Hungary have clashed with the European Commission in recent months over immigration and the rule of law. Both governments are also nationalist and eurosceptic in tone, which has irritated France and Germany, as well as the EU and Poland is currently facing the Commission's nuclear option, Article 7, which would strip the country of its Brussels voting rights, due to a government move to strip away the independence of the judiciary. The European Parliament has also adopted a resolution calling for Article 7 to be used against Hungary, where Mr. Orban is accused of threatening independent institutions. Neither leader addressed these developments at the press conference, instead focusing on how their countries can claim a bigger role in the EU. Mr. Mroiki told reporters at the conference, I believe that similarly minded nations like ourselves together can influence Europe's future in a very positive way. The Polish former finance minister said Central European countries like Poland and Hungary would begin by presenting a common front in budget negotiations. The EU is set to begin deciding how to allocate its next seven-year budget in the coming months, which will take it up to 2021. Ex-Communist Central Europe is a net receiver of EU funds, while Poland, as the biggest economy in the region, benefits most. Wealthier countries such as Germany want to curb spending, given the threat of Brexit, but Mr. Muraiki hopes to maintain or improve his funding.